Hey, it was Adam Phil Texas, but now I one here back on some Mud 15, and we got two new positional sets to the game right now. We got the strong safety and center. I wouldn't have chose these two. I probably chose center and D tackle, but hey, I just wanted the tackle position club so I can sell these cards in my reserves. But nevertheless, I sold a bunch of cards to go into these sets because I'm not doing these damn sets. These sets, they make sense, right? I'm cool with them. I like them because I can make a bunch of coins off of them. DJ swearing to 10k, Mayweather with 10k, he had a boat, I didn't have that guy, but I'm pretty sure he's 10,000 coins, but like all these cards I had in these sets sold for a bleep ton, and I was really excited about it because I'm not doing a set, but at least I get a consolation prize, right, I'm not getting the huge, amazing 990 raw strong safety, but I'm getting at least 150 to 200,000 coins by selling cards out of these sets, if you guys can't do these sets because you ain't got the you ain't got the coins or you ain't got the players to do just sell the guys that go into these sets because you can make a quick come up pretty easily like right right, right now uh, i sold uh, Jonathan Cyprian, strong city for the Jaguars, 20,000 coins. Right now, he's going for 12,000 coins. So, about an 8K price there. But if you guys got that, that's pretty much one pro pack and rookie pack you can open up. A lot of the guys in the set go off a lot too. But you guys got some Morgan Burnett. He's going for, yeah, that much. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb. That's a lot of coin right there for that one card. He's not going to sell for that much. I'll tell you that right now. Because the Hannibal is like 200. No, I'm sorry. He had about, what, 650K right now. So, that's probably not going to sell for that much. But the set is going to be very tough to complete so that's why i'm not doing it because i didn't prepare for it i prepared for one set and that would have been the left end set but a lot of the cards that go into the set price has spiked up cam chance if you guys remember he's going for around 10 000 20 000 coins now he's 37k so there's coins to be made out of this set and if you guys got these players sell them uh, i'm trying to think any more rares out of those strong safeties not really remembering any off the top of my head right now but the center one this one has a bunch of players going for a decent amount of coin uh of course, the Outsiders, Max Unger, Kilgore, Brian Stork. I sold Corey Lichtensteiger, the 74 overall center for the Redskins for, uh, what, 20, no, I'm sorry, well, I say 20K, 50K. Now he's going for 20,000 coins. So if you guys got him, that's a nice come up as well. We also got Fernando Velasquez, who's going for what? Yeah, a lot of cards in the set going for a lot of coins. So if you guys got any low-tier centers, base, or road to the playoffs, sell them because they're going for a decent amount of coin. Uh, who else is going for a lot in this set? Who else? Who else? Base Ryan Wendell, 16,000 coins. So that's a guy right there you want to look for. Even RTTP Ryan Wendell is going for 16,000 coins. I have one right now that you guys can pretty much see. Look, look I got one. But like, I'm not going to put it in the set right now because I'm not doing the set at all. But for those that are saying, I want to do these sets, but I can't, just, just don't do it. Because, like, you don't got to waste your two elite badges. You ain't got to waste your time doing these sets, buying cards out of the auction, by waiting for cards to get cheaper. And on top of that, there's no corner rewards. Why would you do these sets? Like, the corner reward last year and year before would max how much a set would cost you. For example, in month 13, uh, if there was a million coin reward and the set would cost 900,000 coins, make 100k profit but you also get those legend packs 12 out of coins as well so it was worth doing this year you pretty much gotta get done early and then sell the card immediately because right now i think travis kelsey i keep saying travis kelsey jason kelsey is around 500,000 coins and look at the set right now it might cost you exactly 500,000 coins if you sell the guy you're selling him for a loss because of the tax so that is going to be a downside doing these sets right now so if you guys got the cards and reserves just sell them just sell them all i can give you that's all, that's all the advice i can give you about how to make coins doing these sets because it's not going to be doing the set at all unless you happen to have all the cards in reserve then it makes sense to do the set but if you guys are going to go to the auction block spend time sniping it doesn't make much lick of sense to do the set all right so kelsey's already here for five hundred thousand coins and i think that set might cost you right around five hundred thousand coins so shout out to that guy because he played two solo challenges like that set out very very quickly to get this guy in the auction block so he has 93 string, 92 awareness, 99 run block, 94 pass block, 94 impact block. I don't got the best center in the game. I got Ryan Khalil pretty much out there. So you guys can see, it, like, he's a lot better, obviously. But I did see a comparison recently between uh, say Travis Kelsey, Jason Kelsey, and uh, 95 style master Mike Pouncey. And Mike Pouncey and Kelsey have some pretty comparable stats. Like they're battling back and forth. So before you buy Kelsey, price check other centers again. I will make another video about useless attributes if you guys want because y'all seem like that last one, but that's Travis Kelsey right there. A lot of bad cards though. I wouldn't pay that much for him, but if his price comes down around the same price as Pouncey, then it's kind of respectful. But here is the James E. Hedbo, and everybody's saying this card is trash. Yo, okay, before I look at this guy's card, I will say the strong safeties in this game are all bad, right? They're all awful. Like, they all have like pretty decent speed, hit power, bad play recognition, bad zone. It's just, they're just all bad in this game, so... I'm not really going to this card expecting anything amazing. And 93 speed, 96 hit power, 90 zone coverage. Okay. 
Um, 92 pursuit, 76 man. So, okay, he's 6'1". He has good awareness. He can play in zone coverage by himself. Pretty be- decent catching. Like, how is this guy not an overall? <laughs> like, how? How, Sway? Um, like, this is a, it's not a bad card. He has really decent block shit. Um, just not worth 626,000 coins. Like, he is not deemed that good of a safety. And, again, I don't got the best safety in the game. I got Deion Buchanan out there who has 94 spin, 93 acceleration, and better hit. Oh, 95 hit power. But look at that. I mean, the huge increase on this guy's car compared to Buchanan is going to be play recognition. And then you have pursuit by 20 and zone coverage by 10. So, like, it, it, it's, like it's, not, it's not a terrible card. I just wouldn't pay that much for it. But those are your positional rewards you get for completing the sets. Like I said, I'm not doing this set. I'm doing one set, and that's going to be left in set. And hopefully it's Cameron Wake. Hopefully it's somebody of that caliber. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, folks, I'm the Texas boy, and I'll catch y'all mother bleepers later. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Um, let's go over here to the marketplace. They added all Madden packs to the game. I forgot about this. They added all Madden packs to the game, and the bundle gives you ten all Madden packs, and you get a BS topper that guarantees you eight players for the positional sets. Now that could be both on offense and on defense. You can pull five centers. You can pull three uh, strong safeties. This set, I mean, the pack's dumb. Like, the pack is completely dumb because, first of all, I don't want a topper that guarantees me more players. Like, that's what the packs are for. I want a topper that guarantees me something special. A badge, a badge packs are awful, but like a badge would be kind of like, no, I don't want to say, never mind. I take that back. No badge packs. No badge packs at all. But I want something special. Like, this is, it has potential to be something special, but as the day progresses, this thing's unpacked. This thing's in store for, two, uh, for three days, right? So as the week progresses, uh, it's just doesn't seem worth it to open this pack because the best time to sell cards is generally right now or sell the rare cards when everybody stops buying them so i don't know this is the topper is dumb the all bad impacts i don't know if they're better than the all pro pack the all pro packs do give a, a chance for a collectible like i want to open one of these packs right now to see what comes in let's see okay they guarantee one team of the week or a football outsider so why would i buy this if this guarantees one team of the week or outsider and three i mean because okay okay I don't know. I huh, I don't I don't want the topper. Like I'm, I'm cool. I don't I don't want the topper. But yeah, if you guys get one one team of the week player or football outsider, you can go ahead and do this set right now. Or do this thing right now. I'm trying to think, ain't that many team of the week? Like this is not a good. This is not good because you're gonna be pulling a bunch of defensive players, right? Because there's no team of the week uh, centers or no, there's not. There's only it's, it's football outsiders. You got Kilgore, Brian Stork, who's going for three thousand coins. Kilgore's around seven thousand coins, and you have uh, Max Unger, who's twenty k. I think that's it for football outsiders and on strong safeties it's uh what strong is it just morgan burnett is it just him i don't know anyway folks that's the video of the text boy and i'll catch y'all mother bleepers later peace